Previously on Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Yes! Fuck you! Oh! God damn, that was annoying! And now back to kicking monkey ass! Hello! The Sneaker B, back with some more Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. We last left off, we finished up episode P4. And, uh, but you guys told me apparently, I was wondering, I was like, why do I only have 94%? I thought maybe it was because I hadn't made the other choice in, uh, uh, uh this thing, wherever it was. Um, but, uh, it actually, and I was, I did it, and it's still at 94%, but apparently there's actually a true ending. Um, so that wasn't actually the, the official true ending to this game. I have to, get, but I can only get after, um, playing through episode P3, so... Um, that's cool. Uh, I'm kind of glad because I feel like it didn't really give me a very good closure on like show, you know? It kind of just like, like he was just like, like, I will fight you again one day. Fairly well, and then, you know, flies off into the sunset. But, so I'm happy. I'm glad there'll be a little bit more. Um, but anyway, uh, I asked you guys which one you want me to play next, and everybody agreed pretty much. <laughs> do it, Archie. Go for a Dachi, baby. All right, let's do it. Disturbing the peace. Let's see what the fuck that little shit's up to. <laughs> Just dicking around in prison. <laughs> God, it's boring in prison. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> nice place you got here. <laughs> Crunch. My molar slowly crushed the hard lump of fiber. I knit my eyebrows at, at my first taste of lotus root in a long, long while. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I scraped in some barley filled rice as if to wash down the lotus root. Today's dinner consists of chicken zenny full of vegetables. I also get some miso soup that's one step away from water, cucumber sukimono, and even an orange slice or two for dessert. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. I want some sea urchin. I want some sea urchin or eel. <laughs> I want some... Wait, what, what is it again? He wants, uh... Oh, I need some cabbage. <laughs> that's right, you guys told me, apparently that's what he was fucking crazy about cabbage. <laughs> Yakiniku sounds good, too. Or maybe some beef tongue. Served rare. Covered in onion and marinated with a little lemon's juice. I fantasize about this. I grab another lotus root out of the bento back with my chopsticks. I peer through the holes in the lotus root, and my eyes meet those of the guards staring at me through the observation window. Hurry up and eat! Yeah, yeah, sorry. Hey, shut up, bitch. <laughs> Been in jail for about five months now. I'm being held at the prefectural police a HQ neighboring Inaba City as a suspect in the serial murders that took place in Ayas Inaba. By suspect, I mean I fucking did it. <laughs> Two murders plus abandoning a corpse and a few other charges. Normally I'd be immediately prosecuted and transferred to prison, but the police have having trouble with the supernatural cause of death being thrown to the television. <laughs> like, uh, how do we uh, how do we prosecute this exactly? I'm all convinced the judge from it's the judge from uh, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> I mean, I sure as hell wouldn't want to be assigned to a pain in the ass case like this. Well, maybe it's not for me to say, being an ex-cop and all. After meal drowsiness hits me soon after, and I lay down on the tatami mat. There's nothing to do in this empty cell, and just as I'm about to pass from consciousness into the the beckoning Number slumber. Number 82! Interrogation! <laughs> Number 82! <laughs> hey, it's, my, it's me, running Mushrigi! I'm playing the guard of this game! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I've been upgraded from from side character to, to semi-side character! Voice of the guard outside pulls me back into reality. Number 82, that's me. An interrogation this late in the day? Give me a fucking break. Motherfucker. I sign away if the guard wouldn't see and slick it up. Take him in charge, leaves me away, leaving my cell behind. <laughs> it's been a while since I was last called to the interrogation room. The stiffness really seems to stress the spitefulness of this room. That alone is enough to get me down. When I first got here, I gave gave them the whole truth since it was all over. I didn't plan to hide anything, and it'd be a pain if things got complicated. <laughs> There's a TV just sitting there. <laughs> all right, so show us again how you got it. How you manage to murder people? <laughs> Look, I can stick my head in the TV and out the TV. There you go. Oh no way, dude! I gotta send this. I gotta send this to Bob. Do it, do it again. God damn it! But obviously, proving that you can kill people with magic isn't the kind of thing that can be demonstrated to an audience that isn't willing to listen. After going through some serious psych evaluations and all that crap, the interiors weren't able to make any progress, and my jail life continues. Here's some more things. Ah! Check them. Oh my God! What the fuck are you supposed to be? Hey! Here's some late. Check them. Ah! Middle-aged detective. Excited? So what? I want to go over some evidence. Pop mass down the uncomfortable stool, and a young detective lines up with several objects. These are the three pieces of evidence. Uh, this is a replica gun that's been modified to fire real bullets. Oh yeah, that was in my closet. I bought this when I was first joined the police force, and was frustrated when I didn't get a gun right off the bat. 
this a digital audio player? I wanted a New Year's bingo game. I tossed it somewhere and forgot about it. Where the hell did they find it? <laughs> and that is a large flat screen TV. It's big enough to easily shove someone through, but <laughs> not that I'm getting any ideas. But I've seen this TV before. In other words, it's relevant to this investigation. Or oh, I've never seen this TV before. It's pretty damn evident there's no evidence, new evidence to find. I've got nothing more to hide, and I've told them so. Yet they still managed to dig up more junk. They don't even realize that they're wasting their fucking eh, None of them are related to the case. I mean, I've said this many times before, but I've already told you everything. Shut up! No <laughs> back talk! Just check them off! <laughs> Shut up, Padachi! <laughs> Take a pounds the table with his fist, probably an attempt to intimidate me. <laughs> You're scared now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what losers. <laughs> My game's been long over. What good would it do for me to do me to lie now? The reason you don't you can't assemble a case against me is because you're fucking idiots. <laughs> and I have to sit here and waste my energy dealing with you morons? Why don't you use your head a little? I think I should have pretending to look at the so-called evidence again and the detective lights a cigarette. Seriously. Between Adachi and Dojima. Is anyone in Inaba PD not a dumbass? Dojima, son. Ryotaro Dojima. You know him real well. Rumor has it his position at the station's shaky because of you. A real cop wouldn't have the balls to show his face at the station if one of his men got sent up for murder. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Dojima. <laughs> Seems like, God damn it. My daughter almost died last year. Now this fucking shit. Ugh. Dojima can't catch a fucking break. The detective with the cigarette blows some smoke in my face. I get this kind of treatment every day, and this is. One of the less severe acts, acts of hostility I face at that. Since I'm an ex-cop, the police are merciless when they interrogate me. On top of being in a restraint from morning till night, I, if I start to doze off, I get some water to the face. <laughs> Verbal abuse is constant. If I say something, I get yelled at. If I stay quiet, I get yelled at. <laughs> it's a lot like Nico's commentary when, when he talks about me. Shut up, Adachi. It really impresses me how much energy they have. They're probably pissed at how long this case is going to take them, but they can't blame me for their incompetence. Seeing that I don't so much as move as move an eyebrow, the detective lights a cigarette, second cigarette and laughs mockingly. You know, I felt sorry for him. So out of kindness, I told him during the investigation. I said, I'll make sure to dispose of your no-good man. So don't worry about that. And what does that bastard do? He suddenly grabs me by the collar. I almost ended up having to submit a written apology. <laughs> Talk about a blunder. <laughs> It ain't nothing to laugh about. This guy kind of reminds me of, like, Moroko a bit. What do you think he said, huh? He can settle matters for himself without me asking you to do it. <laughs> what a bunch of shit to say about a killer. <laughs> shit. Hearing that, I smile knowingly. Did you sounds being a pain in the ass like he always is? No longer a subordinate, just a complete stranger. She cut off any ties to me, but instead he has, got, has to go and say that. Besides, isn't it backwards for a detective to be believing a criminal? This cop's right, seriously. Seriously, he makes me laugh. Yeah. I'm done dealing with Hicks. Oh, I guess once you've been a police dick in the sticks that long, your morale's shot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Dojima snuffed a few himself. That must be where his men learned it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. Huh? Although, aren't you the one with the quick fist? I heard rumors about you when I was on active duty. You punched a suspect in the face during the investigation. Got found out and covered it up, right? What a hero! <laughs> oh! Oh shit! Here comes that vein. Take his face gets redder and redder. Even though I sound frivolous, my heart is and cold. And since then, you've made sure to only punch him in the gut, right? You sure know what you're doing. Aiming to work at the Metropolitan PD. You little... I ain't taking that kind of lip from a goddamn killer! <laughs> I'm gonna punch you in the gut. I mean, uh... Face. I mean, uh... Uh... Ah. Shut up. Oh, the chair is kicked out from under me and slammed into the ground. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at Josh's face. Hey, how's it going? I'm gonna fucking murk you let you, you little shit stain. <laughs> this is me, not giving a fuck. Detective grabs me by the hair and roughly pulls me, pulls my head up. Holy shit. Seeing the detective's face contort with anger and humiliation is just hilarious. Oh, my God. God dang, God dang it, Adachi. <laughs> you about to get fucking rocked. Dude, look at this lip. Look at the lips of the a detective guy. What is? Dude, you need some chapstick or something to look kind of rough or something. If you don't want a good thrashing, then you better spill everything, you bastard. Damn. Sir, you really shouldn't go any further. <laughs> Sir, that's uh, kind of uh, against protocol. Shut the fuck up, shit stain. This is why you work under me. I'm the head cop here. Young detective steps in front of his superior, probably out of worry. But all he does is fluster the. 
All he does is fluster. The younger one has no control of the other detective's movements. Shut up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! You don't get anything out of scumbags like him without getting your hands dirty. Watch and learn. <laughs> Ooh! Shit. Punched me in the gut. He avoided my solar, my solar plexus. He must be used to hitting people. <laughs> I choke back my stomach acid and scoff. That wasn't nice. <laughs> Isn't this against the criminal procedure code? Ah! Criminal <laughs> procedure code, Article 319. Forced confessions gained through torture and intimidation are inadmissible as evidence. Not according to Jack Bauer, it isn't. <laughs> and I fucking love that show. Shut up! Anything I tell you is invalid if you get your hands dirty. Didn't they teach you the basics in police academy? Oh, but I get it. You're stuck in the boonies like this because you can't even get the criminal procedure code straight. <laughs> oh my god. You better get rocked in that. You little! Detective, detective's eyes open wide. <laughs> ha! <laughs> I stepped on a landmine. It's probably going to hit me again. Do it. <laughs> I like it when you do it. Hit me again. I raised myself for it, but contrary to my anticipation, I'm not struck by a fist. Instead, I feel cold steel, the barrel of a gun pressed up against my temple. Oh my god. Whoa, what the? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm evil now. Oh, Jesus Christ's eyes. You must be Toru Adachi. I wish to speak with you. Oh. Uh, oh, hey, show. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? The atmosphere in this room suddenly becomes tense. I feel chill run down my spine. It's the same detective I was just talking to. He's someone else. I don't have any proof, but that's what my gut is I'm telling sorry. Me. But I must ask you to come with me. Enter the TV here. And to be clear, this is less a request than an order. Whoa, what are you doing? There'll be hell to pay <laughs> for pointing your gun at a detainee. You really need to come. <laughs> Sir, why are your eyes glowing red? <laughs> ah, yes. I'd forgotten we weren't alone. Get out of here. Huh? What are you saying? I'm saying I'm gonna shoot you. Get out of here. I said get out. I don't wish to make matters worse. And you don't wish to die, do you? <laughs> well, this guy's not keeping his jab after this. <laughs> Good riddance. Take the slowly raises his arm and puts the gun towards the corner of the ceiling. He fires, and the lens of the security camera in the room shatters to pieces, accompanied by the ear splitting sound of gunfire. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Run, Hong Curry, detective! <laughs> the young detective quivers and bolts from the interrogation room. Well, I mean, the right move. There's no point in making a show of justice if he's just gonna get you killed. Ah, now you've done it. So, who are you? You'll find out when we meet. Enter the TV. You should still be able to do that. What's the TV even doing there? They just brought it over like, Is this your TV? <laughs> I thought they would like, so they're, he's not, they're not even like, actually having him show that he can, he can do this. They're just like, whatever, it's fucking bullshit, you know? Dude, all you have to do is have him touch a TV screen. You know, it's like, it's like you want to prove he's crazy. He's like, all right, well, your hand's not going through it, so you're fucking bananas. Or if his hand does go through it, then you're like, oh my god, supernatural exists! Oh my lord! Without changing expressions, he pushes the gun to my back. If I try to resist, he'll pull the trigger without hesitation. I can feel the danger in the air. Just begging would not be a wise plan right now. I walk towards the TV that had been brought in as evidence. Before I can even start to struggle, I'm thrown to the television with unbelievable strength. <laughs> You think it was a big screen? <laughs> it looked like a little tiny TV. <laughs> I'm too fat, I can't get in. No, oh, I'll squeeze you in there. It's a plunge around, so it's like just <laughs> plunging me in there. Whee! Feel strange floating sensation as if gravity has lost its hold on <sighs> entirely. Just like old times. <laughs> yeah, I know this feeling, and I know it's waiting for me at the bottom. Although, it really, only went in there one time, you know? Yeah, I mean... It, the only time he actually ever went in there was when he ran away from us. But all the other times, he never, he never actually, like, you know, he was even saying before, he's like, like, I'm gonna go in that death, that fucking death trap. Well, now I slice slowly as I fall head first. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was thrown out into a cl school classroom involved in an uncanny atmosphere. There are chairs, desks, and desks lined up. Textbooks on the shelf, a blackboard, all that good stuff. But the walls are plastered with posters and barricade tape labeled P1 Grand Prix strung up all over the place. Seriously, who made these things? Look at the blackboard, puzzle, and read the words. The Askami High School month monthly events written along. When I exited the TV, I found myself in a classroom. Mm -hmm. What? What? <laughs> Hi, I'm Adachi, narrating my own life. I woke up hours later, puzzled. Also, hi, 
<laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, that's where those wannabe detectives go, huh? <laughs> of course, this isn't the real school, but I get the feeling that they'll be showing up at any time now. <laughs> oh, well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> He's like, sweet, I get to murder them. I get to try to murder them again. The thing I need to worry about is whoever called me here is somewhere in the school, Seriously, too. I can't believe I'm called in here all of a sudden. I'm not even a cop anymore. Honestly, I'd rather be in prison. <laughs> Well, that's it, even if I go back, it'll all be back to square one. That would be very annoying. But I'll play along then. I'm just getting tired of dealing with those idiot well, cops anyway. Well, I guess I'll go. I didn't think anything like this would ever happen again. <laughs> Isn't there something wrong with this world? Who knows what'll happen next? <laughs> they think I show up in the sequel. I guess I'll start investigation, investigating from the top. I stretch my head and start making for the door out of the classroom. I'm sure I'll find some evidence, so I just walk, start walking around. Oh, wait a second. Something to Jima used to say. Oh man, I've picked up the habit without realizing it. Look what you've done to me, Dojima san. Son of a bitch! Give me a break, Jima san. Roll my eyes and leave the dark classroom. I see, okay, so. <sighs> to be continued. <laughs> In red. You could have just gone. R I mean, there's nowhere else for me to go, game. <laughs> Keep going. Intentions. So he ended up recruiting Adachi. This is all left over from the first game, all this stuff. School is a terrifyingly quiet world. After leaving the classroom, I take a stroll around the school. The empty school building is blurred in a dim light, making it all the creepier. For some reason, it's becoming a complicated maze. If the entire school had become a giant Man, trap. Man, whoever made this must be pretty twisted. Then again, who am I to talk? <laughs> I, I'm kind of fucked up myself. I glance around and notice the walls and ceiling were bored through as if something crashed into them. I saw plenty of the similar signs of damage on the way here. I knew they were... I neither know nor care what happened, but the violent scratches here tell a story of what happened. At any rate, this is definitely not a peaceful place. <sighs> I'm starting to get sleepy. <laughs> I'm out of shape, my bag is hurting. <laughs> Let's get this over with and go. I'm rub my tired eyes and climb up the nearest oh, stairs. What's behind door number one? <laughs> it's just a single door at the end of this path. Probably this be the way to the roof, but there's no telling where it goes in this crazy world. In case I guess I better take a look. It doesn't appear to be locked, I still open the door and a warm, moist air wind what in the blows. world is this? Doom. Behold. See before me, it's bizarre. A bunch of crosses are stuck into the ground with an eerily giant moon in the background. Close by, I can see the moonlight bridge bent like a spoon. I definitely recognize it, but I could, because I saw it more times than I would have liked to while I was in the city. Still. Talk about some disturbing taste and decor. <laughs> this place was like a set from a B movie. It looks like a zombies are going to attack me from out of nowhere. <laughs> oh god, zombies! Well, if I'm in the TV world and there's shadows here, I guess that they don't look all that different. Take a look around in the area, I won't pick it that. It's just a presence right behind me, and I instantly realized that someone snuck up on me. You gotta be kidding me. I may be crooked, but I was still I was still a cop. I was paying attention to my surroundings, and somebody still got the drop on me. Careful to turn around and see a young man standing Welcome there. to his world. You must be Toru Adachi. The young man spreads his arms in a welcoming gesture. He's impressively red hair and a sharp yet cold stare. He carries two odd-looking katanas and bears an X-shaped scar across his face. I wonder where he got that scar. I kinda, I'm kinda wondering that. I guess from the experiments they did on him. But above all, this extraordinary presence he's giving off. It's the same feeling as what I felt in the interrogation room. He's the one who called me here, no doubt about it. Chills ran down my spine in the face of this murderous intent. And I'm a fucking crazy murderer too, so that's saying something. <laughs> I keep a straight face and speak like I always do to hide my fear. Are you the one that called me out? But seriously, I'd rather not. I'll tell you who I am to thank you. I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. Interesting how he said that. He said, I'm, you know, I, I talk like I always do to hide my fear. Like, interesting. I wonder how much of that he did when he was around us, you know? The young man grins after he says that. I notice that he has a Yasuo High uniform tied around his waist. Does that make him a student there? He seems rather composed to be one. Those, det those detective wannabe brats acting more their age. <laughs> huh? And what does this Minazuki-kun want with me? If you don't have any business in particular, I'd really like to head back. Whether or not I explain myself to you will be decided right now. <laughs> Look of an eye, Satana's point at my throat. <laughs> hey man, what gives? <laughs> He's the one who won me here. Isn't this a bit, bit of a mean greeting? I'm feeling frustrated with this, but as he tosses a gun towards me. Scripts. The same revolver as the one I kept when I was when I was a detective. It's your gun. Pick it up. You're a skilled marksman, no? Nice he raises katanas. The punk wants to test my strength. Find a clip. 
I cluck, I cluck my tongue and I pick up the revolver off the ground. It pisses me off that I have to listen to this brat, but I have a feeling things will be a bigger pain if I refuse to fight. To get the comfort of the familiar grip of my hand, Are you mind. sure you want to give me this? I'm the suspect in a murder case, you know. Oh no, she's got a gun! That's fine. Come at me, as if you wish to kill me. Wow, someone's confident. Okay, don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm gonna do his grab move. It's kind of funny. It's just like, I don't know, it's so fucking Adachi. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can do it. He just like trips you and laughs at you. Damn it! Stop blocking my shit when I show him that fucking Oh fuck. Boring. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it, come on. There he goes. <laughs> he just laughs at you. <laughs> oh, he fucking blocked it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Let's see, Magasu Mandela. Let's try that. Or I'll just die. Ha, <laughs> you suck it, Dachi. You did that intentionally, didn't you, Nico? <laughs> Maybe. I just want to show him the funny move. All right. For real this time. Finally. God, you don't give a fuck. What? Holy shit, he just throws him down. Who's this? I was like saying, save my face. Uh, oh! Ah! Uh. Oh, he threw fucking skies at Sides at me. Oh, that was. Oh, that was fucking close. Oh! Hell yeah! <laughs> Reese, what are you doing there? <laughs> I feel uplifted for the first time in a while. Announcing his power is something. It definitely wasn't the standard keep it clean style of fighting. Sure, I beat him, but he probably wasn't taking me seriously. In fact, Minazanski's pretty nonchalant when he took looks at me. He seems to sound quite skilled. I find your defeat incomprehensible. <sighs> look who's talking. You look like you've got lots more energy to spare, too. Indeed, I was only testing you. I wanted to see if you would be of any use. I'm going to create his world. For that, I require your assistance. His world? Now I'm a little interested. Tell me more. Come to think of it, he said it his before too, so he's got another another ally? Just in case I stick my revolver behind my back and reload the This is what that boy wishes for. I intend on destroying this world. The world is filled with deception. Those within it prattle about friendship and bonds, yet they trample over others in the dark without a care. There is no value in such a world. What must be done is to eliminate everything within it. Huh. That's got my interest. Truth to tell, you're probably right. This world's all about useless, shallow, so-called friendships. And yeah, I think it's irritating too. I mean, hey, I gave destroying everything a shot once too. It's <laughs> only half true. Bonds, friendship, helping one another? There are a lot of people who flaunt all this nice sounding, nice sounding talk, but those same same people will try to cut others off when they're attacked or in pain, right? In the end, it's just that humans have to rely on each other in order to live, but far too many dumbasses misunderstand that and try to make it way more meaningful than it really is. Ah. Interesting. Okay. So he's saying here, basically, he's saying, okay, well, I gotta rely on people, because, you know, I realize now I gotta rely on people, but but I'm not gonna make it, you know, like, all this wishy-washy, lovey-dovey shit, like, you know, make it sound meaningful. We're just using each other, that kind of, that's kind of thing. Still, still shitty, but, but not like, completely like show who is like, you know, man, fuck everybody. And that's why I really understand where this guy's coming from. I mean, if we could erase this shitty world like a, if you could erase this shitty world like a magic trick. At least that's what I used to, used to you think. You gained a power beyond humans. Do you remember that time? Power beyond humans? Huh. You mean that thing? What do you want with it? I intend to summon that power, but 
needs to be tamed. Nazmi's eyes waver like red flames. Let's see, so it looks like he's been given power, just like For me. For that, I require your assistance. You will cooperate with me. You have no choice in this. Nazmi points his Nazmi points his katana at me again. With my power at it, didn't have much control. I was taken over by some mysterious force and had no memory of it. Oh, he's talking about when he was taken over by the uh, fog thing. He poked around uh, my personal profile, but he's missing the most important part. I guess he's just some brat after all. I can't. can't Come on, research. you're not giving me a say here. And about this taming thing, that's all up to you. What does it have to do with me? Yeah, if you want my help, I guess I'll cooperate with you as best I can. As best as you can. You have another role as well. What? There's more? Persona users. I will gather them and make them fight. You will also participate in this. Huh? That sounds like a real pain. I mean, why are you making them fight? Yes, yeah, so I don't really want to get involved in this, but the right choice is to act like I'm interested and get as much information out of this kid as possible. To make out things good, this guy might become a hindrance to me. I'll decide to make my move once I've heard the, what he has to say. After making an interesting face, he surprisingly tells me the full outline of his plan. He's going to gather shadows until he has a giant collection of them, like a pile of sculpting clay. He's in that as a vessel where he plans to summon what he called power beyond the mounds of man to inhabit it. But in order to pacify such a powerful being, he apparently needs persona fragments that are created when personas use when use their powers on one another. So he thought up the idea of creating a one-on-one -on -one tournament between persona users, calling it the P1 Climax. Plus, he's made some exact duplicates of the people out of, uh, people out of shadows in order to force them fighting one another. I have to admit, he made an effort. In addition, he's already taken some Persona users belonging to an organization called the Shadow Optimus Hostage. He's definitely planned for this. I don't really get the point in crucifying this, his captives on those tacky crosses. <laughs> anyway, blah, blah, blah. I've been called in to help collect the fragments and help him get a hold of the power within the giant shadow. This all sounds pretty stupid, really. Manowski's deadly serious. He really intends to go through with this. <laughs> uh, I didn't even manage to come up with a plan that's such a convoluted pain in the ass. It's just because I haven't been around for a while, but I'm actually impressed at how ridiculous this scheme is. <laughs> I'll add the persona users of this town to the fight as well. You understand, no? They were the opposition who shattered your previous ambitions. Have your revenge on them if you wish. Even if you do nothing, I will not complain. Revenge, huh? We will prepare the stage for you. You're free to destroy them, if you so choose. The clashing of competing powers will give off Persona Fragments. This will advance our plans. <sighs> and if I refuse? Then the murders which occur on foggy days will begin again. I see. Well, can't let that happen. <laughs> especially, especially it's me. <laughs> Never had a choice in the start, huh? Well, I didn't expect it to just go on without having to do some kind of work. After hearing the plan, I just can't sit there. I was thinking about what to do when I suddenly felt the ground shake a bit beneath us. It's time. Here it comes. As he looks up in the sky and stirs off in the distance, suddenly. What the huh? Shake growing the shaking grows so intense that I can barely stand, the roof soars up into the sky. I fall on my knees and embrace my hands on the ground. Lost for words, I see stare upwards. This guy's turned red like inky, like ink staining a piece of paper, or an infection spreading across healthy oh, flesh. Man. Isn't this a little over the top? <laughs> Ugh. Shing's finally stopped, and I so I run off to the edge of the, the roof. I look down at the world from, from here and gulp involuntarily. The town's covered in an eerie red mist. The sky, the moon, even the air itself is covered in red. The same colors Minazuki's eyes have to show me that everything is as mercy. Hey, is this? <laughs> what the hell? Damn! This is totally out there. My world is awesome! Uh. <laughs> uh, what? Dude, you're a Dachi, right? Did you see that just now? Did you? <laughs> the world's all red! Well, better red than dead. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Young man had been cool and calm just a moment ago, and I jumping around like a little kid. An innocent brat playing with huh? a new toy. Whoa, hold on! What's with the wild mood swing? <laughs> what are you all surprised for? Oh, you were talking to him, huh? That kind of puts a damper on things. Him? 
Just in case I took a look around, we're the only ones here. The red haired boy headed boy laughs merrily as I cock my head. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm Sho. Sho Minazuki. Welcome to my world, as I like to call it. I've heard about you. You hate this world too, right? Good for you, because it's all going away. Ah. So, uh, you're different from Minazuki kun. Ugh, you're still on this? Minazuki is him. I'm Sho. It's too much of a pain to explain it anymore. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. <laughs> he just doesn't care to keep talking, but show ends the conversation. Does he have a split personality? I've never met somebody who does, who, who does before, but it's fairly common to hear about it when you talk with cops about psych cases. Still, something doesn't seem right. I feel, I feel something different. It's threatening madness. Doesn't matter right now. I just slumped my shoulders, fed up with the fact that I now have even more trouble to but deal that with. Aside, are you really any good to me? If you're totally weak after saying you'll help out, I don't need your bullshit. And if you really are like that, I'll seriously kill you. I don't think I ever gave a clear yes or no yet. This is all so sudden, you know? <laughs> huh? Are you an idiot? Cooperating lets you live. Refusing gets you killed. Get it? What moron would say no to that? Those are some pretty extreme choices. Enough going on and on in circles. I wouldn't mind destroying you, but he's telling me not to. Hmm. That means you're game to do this. You seem like you enjoy things that get bloody. What's wrong with that? It goes gushing out like psh, right? <laughs> You know, like, he sounds like, I mean, he sounds super sadistic, and I'm like, I'm wondering, remember Adachi before asked him if he ever even killed anybody, you know, and I'm, I wonder, has he, you know, like, like, what kind of shit has Sho been through? Like, just the way he's acting, it seems like he has to have, you know? But your answer's not hesitation, I, the type that has no self-awareness, th this, the type that has no self-awareness is the very worst. I think you should be more careful, no matter how strong you are, if you think you're you got control over a great power. If you lay your guard down, you're gonna let your feet swept out. From yeah, under. yeah, sure, I'll participate. I was getting bored, so this would probably be a good way to kill time. But I'll <laughs> do this my way. I have my own rules, you know? That's right, I have my own set of rules. I don't give two shits about this perfect world or his power. All this crap about getting revenge on the kids from Inaba or the fight between the Persona users doesn't matter to me either. They can do whatever they want. It's interesting. So he doesn't seem to really have any desire to get revenge on like the Persona persona people, which is, I'm, I am, I'm surprised, like, I thought he would be the kind of older grudge, you know? Interesting. I wonder why that is. Things are different if they're going to start interfering with me. I don't want anyone getting in the way of my rules, no matter what. Huh? Well, do what you want. I don't care if it's rules or roulettes, but if you try anything funny, I'll cast you out like that. I'll mount you up nice on the wall next to the investigation team. A dodgy looking Adachi. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, let's see. That's his own lame joke. His eyes suddenly glow red. Turns his piercing gaze on him. But I'll be watching you. So you better not slack off. Got it. Well, I've got somewhere to be. So do what you want from here. See ya. She raises an arm as he gallantly leaves the roof. They're attacking from behind for a moment. That's probably not a wise move, considering I don't know what his power is. Like, now the then, things. how do I go about this? Spin a revolver on my finger out of habit, then look into the crimson to the red sky. Crimson shroud filling my line of sight. Ah, uh, brings back memories of being inside the TV last year. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old murdering memories. First time I found myself inside the television, the days of run, the days of being run ragged, running around with the Jima-san, finding the kids inside the TV world. I've forgotten all. About and all that, but I guess not. Not very pretty memories, but it wouldn't be a lie to say that I this experience is making make me the man I am today. Hit by a fierce wave of nostalgia, close my eyes. The lump of the steel in my hands is seems extremely heavy. But I'm still ready to murder shit. Adachi time. <laughs> to be continued, except not really. <sighs> Nick. Back inside the school building, I entered an arbitrary classroom sitting in a chair, yelling for the, the nth time today. Well, Minazuki or Sho told me to go fight the Persona users, so I first need to go down. I need to go down, but back in the school, the hallways are even more complicated, and the more I walk, the more dead ends I find. I never think of taking this opportunity to go into town and get some good sushi or barbecue barbecue box lunch. So that's a sea urchin and cow tongue come go fleeting, fleetingly. Ew, cow tongue? That's a, 
Anyone ever had cow tongue before? What am I thinking? There's no way I'm going outside with the town like that. I have the window of the corner of my eye. It's obvious that the red fog is growing thicker than it was when I was up on the roof. If he's gonna make me his guest, he could at least have a GPS or something ready for me. Rest my chin on my hands and play to the open air. If only I could dish all this until this goddamn trouble tr troublesome tournament is over. But I can't do that this time around. I need to source shows plans for my own sake, after all. I can't even call what I'm about to do a plan, but I've already decided what has to be done. All right, so he seems to be like he's still doing it for himself, but it, I, I guess you know. I, don't, I, I can't say Adachi's doing this to, like, save humanity or the good of everybody. I've made contact with the Persona users who will be invited here, and I need to lead them on so they will move in the right direction. I can't break the illusion that I'm working with Sho. It's probably not an exaggeration to say that this red world is under his control. I would be clever to move about without arousing suspicion while I'm still undermining well his then. work. I guess I'll get going. <sighs> Do I actually have to go look for those guys? What has he gotten me into? Still, so I get up from the chairs. I'm grumbling. Why do school chairs always make your ass hurt to sit in them for too long? <laughs> Maybe that's still better than having your seat kicked out from under you all the time, like in jail. And then back into this hallway again, where the lava is oozing out of the <laughs> out of the floor. I leave the classroom to find a runway-like hallway stretching up before me. I sat at the dull scenery. I've gotten down pretty far looking. I've gotten down pretty far looking for them, but I guess I still have a ways to go. What? You're serious? Oh, there we go. Uh, is it possible for us to not know about a guy who sticks out that much? Hmm? <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> God, it's already been like, what, three hours? <laughs> it's like, I, I, it, it took me like, what, like three or four episodes to get to this point in the story. I hear a familiar voice of the fog and stop, could it be? I sneak ahead and keeping my ears open. I did think from last time that the culprit would be someone with ties to Mitsuru-san. I still can't shake that theory. Hmm. Oh, maybe he transferred here. Or it could be his older brother's uniform. Nick. There's no doubt about it. That's the genetic kid and the girl in the green ja the track jacket. <laughs> I, I didn't even bother to learn their names. I didn't think I'd run into these guys so soon. I feel the corner of my mouth turn up in the unexpected bit at this unexpected bit of luck. I didn't know it's them. There's no need for me to hide. I approach them, make sure that my footsteps are loud on the hallway floor. <laughs> stomp, stomp. What is it? Be on guard. Don't leave my side. He's like, hey, let me show up my badass cutscene. <laughs> You're God. kidding me. God damn it, Adachi. <laughs> Hey guys, long time no see. Are you serious? <laughs> Adachi son. Ha! <laughs> and now we're seeing from his perspective, so we're seeing his shock, the shock looks on their faces. <laughs> they see me, all three of them look shocked as if I caught them on a hidden camera show. Heck, Yukum has his mouth open wide. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I won't laugh my ass off right now, but I shouldn't be doing anything that could mess things up. <laughs> God damn God damn it, Adachi. I have to keep my contact with them to, no to way. a minimum. Why is Adachi son? Could he be a fake? Huh? Fake? Oh right. I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> Why are you here? Huh? Oh <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved. But someone begged me to help out. And you know, I'm not the kind of guy who can say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Let's get Kuhn's scouts. Ah, uh, so these guys already met show. They saved me the trouble of having to explain hmm? things. Have you guys already met? Oh, man. That doesn't matter. Don't tell me you're working with the culprit this time, too. Ah, uh, well, what do you think? <laughs> I'm fucking crazy. What do you think? Don't play dumb. If I don't like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. See, they're taking the bait, just as expected. They're so, they're so straightforward that it's almost stupid. <laughs> Still, it's more convenient for me to think for me to they think I'm working on the other side. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on, aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are. You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't you? You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? I stare contemptuously, and Yukun has been quiet until now. Glares at me with a complicated look on his face. The Dachi-san. You said you would abide by the rules of this world. 
So why are you here? <laughs> He's got a very complicated look at his face. It looks a lot like his other expressions. <laughs> One of you guys said something the other day where it was like, where, like, <laughs> where it was, I think it was like in the last episode where, like, the world starts shaking or something happens and it's supposed to be like, like, you is supposed to look like, like, supposed to be like scared or something. And like, <laughs> so you guys like, I love his scared expression at this point. And like, <laughs> it's just his fucking regular expression. Like, oh my god. Like, why is you get such a limited number of expressions? It is kind of weird. Like, you think being the main character, they give him, like, at least a few more. He has, like, less than everybody else. Rules. Rules, eh? That's right. I decided to follow the, follow the rules. So I might have to play along with these kids' I, kids' idea. To them, I'm just an ex escape convict. It'd be easier if I could just tell them when, I'm go when I've got in mind, but unfortunately, being an adult is hard. <laughs> hey, whatever. So I don't care what they think of me, as long as I can fill my, fill my objective. I'm not saying anything. You can steps towards me as if he can't hold himself back. Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Oh, man. I see you never learn. The only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. All the questions about what he's after or what's gonna happen to this town. I don't give a damn about any of it. What's he saying? Dutch, you lousy... Whoa, whoa, give me a break. I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like, I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here. Because that's how you think. The rules here? You can look serious. Taking them, this means they, do, they don't know about the rules here yet. And they don't know about the Persona fragments. She gives them a hint of the day. You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's gonna happen because of that. Honestly, rats like you barely even think. What's that supposed to mean? Like I keep saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it can bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those Persona fragments by now. <laughs> huh? Oh. Finally realized this thing's up and trade worried looks to one another. What, were you just playing cops and robbers up until now? What kind of investigation team are you? More like non- non-investigation team. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that was lame as one- that was as lame as one of shows jokes. <laughs> As I'm lamenting the loss of my sense of humor, Yukun has his own, his own worries, troubles, and bites Have we been inadvertently helping him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. But he is trying to give him- he was intentionally giving them hints, so... Interesting. This good building suddenly creaks loud like the howling of a beast. I instantly, I instantly recognize it as the noise of the countless shadows gathering the top what of the tower. What was just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you, I guess. Oh, and your friends who got caught? They might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? It means just what it sounds like. Then again, I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> Wait! <coughs> Boom! I turn my back and on them and disappear into the red fog. Here you just you can try to chase after me and run to an invisible wall. They already had four pillars around them. That, mean, that means they can't leave without winning the battle after they're going, after they're going to face. I guess that's enough for now. We'll go on and do your best, investigation team. I quietly mutter at the kids behind me. Looks like show's plans are coming along faster than I figured. It doesn't look like I have much time to slack off. Might even have to hurry. <laughs> ah, damn it! <laughs> I have to do shit. Inside the hallway windows, I can see the shadows collecting here and there, floating in the sky like shreds of paper. Still, shadows blowing around like trash. This reality of the scene makes me laugh. He's like, God, I'm, God it's good to be me. <laughs> God damn it, Ashy. After leaving Yukun in the hall, I've been walking around the school building in search of other Persona users. Shadows and Persona fragments are building up at a surprising rate. Perhaps I'm feeling a little worried as the fog thickens with the passage of time. Because I was falling faster than usual, I was able to come across a new area quickly. Just in case anything happens, I keep my gun in hand. I still need to slide the door open with my other hand. Hey, welcome to the lobby. <laughs> Beyond the door is a room with an eerie light pouring in. It shows sitting on a sitting on a coffin. What he's doing is staring up a giant clock looming at the back of the room. When he notices me, slowly turns in my huh? direction. Oh, it's just you. Hey there. Looks like it's going well. Getting plenty of persona fragments, huh? Yeah, it's going so well, I'm bored as shit. I wanna see them cry and groan and pain and all that good stuff. Actually, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and go take them apart. <laughs> well, there's no need to rush. After all, they can't leave this place. Huh? Well, yeah. 
Ugh, I'm getting so bored. I should just go take out a couple of them. Whoa, hold on there. There's no need to get hasty when the plan's going so well, right? It'd be easier to just sit back and wait. What are you talking so big for? Want me to stick my sword through your ears? God, shows a fucking short fuse. That shows slowly draws one of his katanas. It turns and stabs into one of the coffins lying around. He keeps hacking it with a lot of words. His scrat scratching itch. His bizarre action is a sign of madness. Oh, scary. Can't you calm down a bit? You won't beat anyone like that. And you came to get me because you needed me, no? You sure it's a good idea to kill me just because I rub you the wrong way? Cripes, what a wet blanket. Did you just come from a picnic out in the rain or something? <laughs> <laughs> don't get the wrong idea. That guy has nothing to do with this. I can kill anyone I want if I feel like it. Sudden fury, he does see this other sword poisoned at my throat. Kill anyone if I feel like it, huh? You get cocky, <laughs> you little asswipe. Then go on ahead. It's easy, right? Have you actually killed anyone before? <sighs> this guy's really pissing me off. She's a sort of the sneer. I figured as much, but now it's clear that he doesn't like people acting superior to him. I'm wondering, so you don't think he really hasn't killed anybody before? He sure talks about it like he does, you know? Like, or maybe it's more of a childish fascination with it, but he's definitely a, he's definitely got sociopathic tendencies, or, well, psychotic tendencies. I see people like him suffer from inferiority complexes, but I don't give a damn about his past. What's more important right now is, take a quick glance at the exit out of the corner of my eyes. All those sneaking around is really bugging me. I think they're hiding, but I can see the shadows on the floor. <laughs> you don't see us, don't you? We're over the corner! The kids from the investigation team are as inept as ever. I move around to keep the show from noticing them and walk towards them. Look, <laughs> there's no need to fight. Once it descends, after all, the world's going to totally disappear. Why spend your time dealing with them, you know? Just ignore those kids. Guys, uh, that's not the problem. I look at those guys and I can't stop gagging. They just herd together like best buds. I don't know why they're so full of themselves. It makes me want to beat the shit out of them. Get them to cry like babies. You get me? Do you? Yosuke Chie, get back! <laughs> Damn, I guess he didn't notice. <laughs> Shiro reaches behind his back and pulls out a knife and throws it at them. The knife fails to reach them, though, and he thuds into, and thuds into the ground at their feet. <laughs> You're so lame! Such a freaking irritating bunch! I hate to even look at you! I just want to see you completely destroyed! Sagerfield's shadow echoes throughout the warp room. I figure that's useless hiding any longer. You can and his little friend step into the room. Damn it, I didn't want to meet you them to meet show any more than absolutely necessary. My plans have changed a little, but I can't help that. It's best if I play the spectator show for a while. Show me, Nazuki. What are you planning? Huh? Weren't you listening? I'm gonna get rid of all you disgusting pests and make this a world I can stand to live in. W what? Don't be ridiculous. That won't help anybody but you. Yeah? So what? Of course it only helps me. I'm saying you're disgusting, so you should all just die. This isn't funny anymore. You're totally nuts. Are you saying that nothing else matters as long as you're satisfied? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, duh. <laughs> Friends, bonds. You worthless pests aren't accomplishing anything but licking each other's wounds. Shitty pests in this shitty world have no goddamn call to give me their shitty lectures. I'm telling you, I'm going to get rid of every shred of everything. Little. You really are a piece of shit that's not worth saving. You've got no right to do that. The world will be much quieter soon. Just like here, a wonderful place where there's no one else. It's all for me. You know, he keeps saying that, but he's saying he's going to destroy the world. I'm pretty sure that's going to destroy him, too, you know? It's like... What? A world with no one else? Ugh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Just hurry up and get smashed to pieces, you shitty pests! <laughs> I didn't think about that very well. Oh, there he goes again. Is, it, is, is this that youth anger I hear about in the news? <laughs> my, 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 it's so scary. She explodes in anger pulls out his katanas again with a menacing look on his face. He's just way too willing to hurt people. May as well try to stop him, even though it's probably not going to do any good. Oh, whoa, what are you getting all worked up for? You really shouldn't do that. And you shut up too, you piece of shit! Come get me. 
I'll beat the life out of you. You'll be begging for mercy. Wonder, well, I wonder in this version who's gonna end up fighting him. I fought him with you, but my pillars in the corner of the room immediately shine as Shadow takes with combat stance. I've never seen that posture before, but I can tell it's not anything like the kids playing it. Playing it being samurai. That's a killer style. We've to take down the enemy with certainty. I can't believe our town is such a mess because of that guy. There's no way I'm sitting back and letting it happen. Ha! <laughs> I'm with you. We'll show you with our own fists how strong you can be when you have something to protect. Show strong. Don't let your guard down. Or they just won't show me. <laughs> you little... That <laughs> did. <laughs> it was sure it fell to the ground at the end of the intense clash. The Ripple shatter, signaling that the battle has been decided. Oh, I didn't expect this. Shoals on one hand to his chest in pain while he gasps, kneeling on the ground. From my perspective as a spectator, Sho was just as strong as his opponent. You now he was better in every way. Sho was faster, stronger, and focused on his opponent's weaknesses. So why did he lose? Well, duh, it's pretty obvious. The answer is simple. <laughs> persona. Sho didn't use a persona a single time during the fight. That means he doesn't, need, doesn't have the power to use one. Doesn't have the power to use one. I didn't know that before, so I'm learning this is a big plus for me. The other personality Minowski uses Persona, so it's kind of weird that, since they're the same body. But they say that Persona comes from the power of the mind, so I guess it makes sense that one of them might be able to use one while the other can. What did I tell you? This is because you kept using those weird powers. You got all puffed up because of someone else's gift. Whoops, I accidentally spoke my mind in front of show. I really cover my mouth and notice Yukim watching me with still in his fighting stance. It's only natural they'd be weary of me. Are we dang. fighting you next to dachi san <laughs> Sure, why not? Oh man, don't be ridiculous. Why would I do something that hard? Hard? Aren't you supposed to be on Sho's side? Sho's side? <laughs> Give me a break. Come on. Isn't there someone else besides me you should be worrying about? Someone we should worry about. This isn't over yet. The troublesome thing about Sho is the fact that Minowski's there too, and Yukin doesn't know about him yet. Sho's been beaten, he's not going to just lie there and take it. This saves me the trouble of having to explain everything myself, but it's no good for me if they happen to get killed. Uh, I'm going to have to babysit these kids myself. <laughs> ah, shit, here we go. And there he is. <laughs> and there he is. As soon as sits up, a red black shadow appears behind him and attacks the investigation team. Blah. I'm back from the dead, assholes! The tables are quickly sure and soon and has got the kids Let's cornered. Let's end this. <laughs> Two personas come together violently, but it's clear Yukun's at a big disadvantage. Get a grip, damn it. Get yourself killed at this rate. Oh my god, what the hell, Adachi? Look at you actually rooting for us. Sort of. <laughs> If that happens, my plan will have all been for nothing. I have absolutely no interest in what happens between those two brats, but I can't let them be killed. So I thought it was time for me to lend him a hand. Persona! Persona! Labras and Naruto come and save the day. <laughs> the Persona appear from the Red Fog and attack Minowski simultaneously. Minowski's Persona is stunned and, and it's relentless attack stop. Yukun! Senpai, are you alright? Yeah. Dr. Shirogani and the other girl, and some other girl I don't know, is carrying a giant axe. Like I'm running into Minazuki's size. More imbeciles. It seems deploying doppelgangers made from shadows wasn't enough. Don't move. Get away from Yukun, or I won't show any mercy. No need for histrionics. I'll concede now without them. Though, should I at least get rid of Narukami first? <laughs> As he points his blade at the kneeling Yukun. I'll make sure Minazuki would be able to kill Yukun like he was a squash squashing a bug. He can't be underestimated. I'm actually going to have to stop him this time. I walk into the center of the room, placing myself between them. Sounds like a bad plan. Haven't you ever heard the saying, the cornered stag is most dangerous? I don't think you have time or energy to waste. <laughs> what do you mean? I just, I just gotta stab him, you know? It takes like two seconds. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Why are you here? Now, Kun's eyes widen with surprise of seeing me. And then... Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! It's good to get some freaky in. Shaking is longer and more tense than when I was on the roof, meaning that the power of Nazuki's collecting is coming closer. It seems things were pro progressing a lot faster than I thought they would. Ah! Whoa! What is the shaking? It's begun. I'll be taking my leave. All that's left is to see this through. Hey, hold it! 
Nazuki turns his back to leave, the other kids surround him to prevent his escape. Nazuki doesn't show any sign of panic. In fact, he gives them a mock You truly sneer. love to swarm, don't you? You find your strength by herding together. But there are enough Persona fragments now. I have no need to deal with you anymore. What is this? Uh, my... my legs... Ugh, this again? It takes an instant. The moment Nazuki's eyes go red, the air shakes, the kids in front of, in front of me suddenly stops and chain down. Seeing that confirms my suspicions. Nazuki's capable of using this persona to control others. He used this power to control the, that detective in the interrogation room. I've been relying on this bar of power too much. That now it's not all time to hold back. <laughs> so is that actually his persona's power? I thought it was Kaiga's Sushi's power. Nazuki spares one last glance at Yusuke and group and runs off into the fog. The other kids are frozen like statues, can only watch him disappear. I'm free to do anything, but there's no point in me chasing after Mizazuki, so I just let him go. Once Minazuki's gone, Minazuki's gone, Yusuke's group is released from whatever held is on over to them, and they all follow the ground. Perhaps that was pretty hard for them. They all seem to be in a lot, to be in a lot of pain. Before they can even catch their breath, the sound of footsteps approach through the fog. A beauty in a skin-tight black cat suit shows up. I'll take Oops. over from here. Let's begin. Bring like, on the ring. <laughs> He's like, ooh, boobs. He's like, bitch. <laughs> That's what he always said all the, in the other games. He was like, he was like Jesse Pinkman. He said, bitch, all the time. <laughs> Some dirty whore comes out dude. <laughs> in a sexy outfit. When Lady yells out, your pillars appear, reappear in the corners of the room. And the visible wall is locked into place. You can stick against him to confuse the kids, and the situation is out of the depth. Mitsuda-san? No, that's a fake. Where's Minazuki? He's gone already. Hey. Not to butt in, but don't you think you're in over your heads a little this time? Didn't you see his power? You're up against more than just that breath. Shout to them from beyond the invisible walls. So there's no time for them to figure this stuff out on their own. Just get it already. <laughs> it's with a bit of a noise that I continue Don't you on. think it's a little late? He said he has all the persona fragments he needs. So all that's left is to summon that thing, and then jam the fragments he's gathered into. As I say that, a rapier swings right in front of my nose. I believe in surprise, a few strands of hair fall through, fall right in front of my eyes like I had a comet. Should be a hottie, but I don't need a chick swinging sharp objects in my face. It might have hurt. What was that for? You speak too much, imbecile. Should I deal with you instead? Whoa, no way! Where'd you get that idea? All right then. I did try to warn you guys. <laughs> All right, see you later. Said enough. Even the stupid investigation team should get it by now, by now right? <laughs> God damn it. Turn my back on them and quickly leave the classroom. They realize Shou's plans and they should be heading for the top of the tower. At the peak, they'll find countless shadows, the persona fragments, and the power. The pieces are all there. Then again, it'll take them some time to figure out out that barrier. There's even the possibility that they even might not even make it to the top. <sighs> Seriously, give me a break. Either way, I've got to disrupt Shou's plans somehow. I pat my jacket to reassure myself that my gun is still holstered at my waist, and I run up the stairway leading to the top of the tower. Interesting. This is interesting. I, I gotta say, I'm really, really surprised by Dachi's thoughts and actions here, you know? I really didn't think he was doing this for, our, like, our best interests. I mean, I mean, he, he sort of is and he sort of isn't. Like, I don't know. He's doing it in his own kind of fucked up way, I think. Oh man, am I gonna have to fight the fucking boss again? With, only with a dodgy? That's gonna. That would fucking suck. Don't make me do it, please. I'm sure, in good shape, sir. I've never exercised while I was in jail. I wonder if it's thanks to that that bland health food. <laughs> As I climb to the top of the tower through the fog, I come to an open area, looking like, looks like this is my goal. Looking up through the powerful winds, the gathered shadows swirl around the top of the tower, giving me off oh, sinister power. Totally red. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Nope, that poem was just awful. I shook my head and looked up at the cloud of shadows swirling around in the sky. <laughs> God damn it, Shiv. This really storm sucks in one shadow after another. It's like a tornado. I gulp at the sight of things s a bright can dream up are scary. <laughs> Wouldn't stand a chance if you got swallowed up in this. I guess Show's scheme is a huge success so far. The middle of the red fog is a clear object, the size of a person, giving off a light as it, it, as it floats. I see, so that's all the persona fragments that keeps shaving off the persona users. Nick. Very care standing next to it. As I stay low and watch it, it looks like he hasn't noticed me yet. These kids were tricked into helping collect the Persona Fragments from the guys of the P1 Climax. Well, after such an intense battle, staying alive is a bit impressive. I think they, 
I think they deserve some it praise there. It would be a problem if anyone died here, after all. My goal is to keep my keep anyone from becoming a victim. That's, That's all just there is something to. I can't allow. I can't let me get killed, unless I'm the one to do it, does it? But that's why I'm gonna have to gum up the works, by whatever means necessary. Draw my pistol and aim at the red-haired young man through the fog. Show. Show looks up, looking up at the giant shadow with an expression of rapture. He's too busy with his new world. He's not even looking this way. Well, that's convenient for me. <laughs> Silly thumb back with the hammer on my revolver. People may not know this about me, but I'm actually pretty confident with my aim. I always was always at the top of my class. Pistol shooting at the academy. Oh, it's got this song from Persona 4. The weird, this weird ass song. Taking me the Persona fragment in the front of the show. Well, maybe it's too big to be called a fragment now. I would shoot fuck. I would fucking shoot show first, man. Don't be a dumbass, Adachi. If I can break that thing, show's plan's done for. I've got. Only, I've got. Only, I've only got the one chance. Okay, I can't miss from here. I can't. I can't even put my pull my put my finger on the trigger. What? Did I hit? Hit it? I'm sure, I'm sure I got it, but the Persona Fragment didn't break. The impact of the bullet was only enough to, sh to crack it slightly. Dude, why didn't you shoot show, you dumbass? One shot wasn't enough. Let's get another shot in. Will really take aim at the crack in the crystal? I'm sure I'm about to pull the trigger. Ah. Hey, Adachi. What the hell are you doing? Show sure stands in front of me what, with a look of rage. Oh, he found me. Frontal Soul is the absolute last thing I wanted to do, but I guess I can't help that now. Hey, believe me if I told him my fingers hmm? slipped. Did I ever say I was going to cooperate with you? <laughs> you goddamn son of a bitch! I'll destroy you! Oh shit. I guess I'm fighting Show this time, not his, not Minazaki. Final! Fight! Can't you Here come! Ha! I see ya! Come on, you little shit! Oh, boom! Get out of the air! He's just like floating up there. Ah. Oh, God! Oh, my God, that did a lot of damage. God, he just keeps floating here. Stay down! The one, but it's more like Show just got tired of fighting and gave up. I was hurt pretty badly, but Show must have used a lot of his stamina in the bat battle. I sit down on Show's chest to keep him pinned. Bastard. What's this about? Were you planning to betray me from the start? What an ungrateful little prick! Just glares at me, seething, but he must be really pissed. I feel Didn't trembling I under say? I told you I was gonna do whatever I want. You cocky dipshit. Don't think that you've won. You must be seriously stupid to defy me. That's why you lost to them, you goddamn stupid moronic idiot! N Ugh, all this yapping is through my ears. How many times do I have to call, do you have to call me a moron, you moron? <laughs> you moron! I press the muzzle of my pistol against Show's jaw to shut him up. <laughs> you actually have the nerve to say that to me. You're the one who got all cocky and started a fighting tournament. Haven't you had your fun? Because there's no way a brat like you could control that kind of power. You really should just say you're sorry to everyone and go back home like a good little boy, you know? Shut up, shut up, shut up! The hell are you mocking me for? I'll kill you! Get off me! I can do this! What's wrong with doing things because I can? Want me to skewer you from your jaw straight through your skull? Doing it because you can, huh? You know, watching you really irritates me. This is like, this is Adachi's weird ass song. <laughs> How very appropriate. It's like seeing myself last year. Seriously, it's irritating. <laughs> oh, here we go. Persona Fragment's only a few meters away. I recock my pistol while pulling the show down. Wow, so he really has matured, really has has grown since last year. Interesting. Interesting. Even he sees himself in the show from last year. Very interesting. It's nice to see, like, you know, antagonists, like, actually, like, grow a bit, you know? Not to stay bananas all the fucking time. Adachi's not one of the ones I ever thought would be like that, either. <laughs> God damn it, Adachi. <laughs> Shut up, Adachi. <laughs> I take him in the small target, hidden, half hidden in the shadow. This will, end, this will end all of this. 
Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> or not. The blink of an eye, my view flips upside down. Show had been under my control just a moment ago, is now sitting on top of me. Shoot, show's got that power too. I don't have control of my own body and just lay on the ground like a rag doll. Show's eyes glowing a blue of burning red in his fury. I'll kill you, Dachi. I'll crush you into pulp so no one will know what you even looked like! Holy shit! <laughs> Oh my god! The brab is punching me in the face. I can taste blood from a cut lip. <laughs> Dude, you got more than that cut lip. <laughs> he's, got your, he's like ripping your fucking face off. Blah, blah. My head rocks with the impact of each hit. That's some power he has. Oh, if I'm still thinking that, I saw some some life in me. You bastard. What are you thinking? You know how important this thing is. Are you trying to ruin my plan? <laughs> If he wanted to kill me, he could just pick up his sword and do it with a single slash. Then he gets on top of me and starts pounding. Not letting me off e so easy. Luck for me, his rage is getting the better of him. <laughs> wow, once a brat, always a rat. Sure, this hurts, but if my luck keeps up, I might just survive this. What I said. I tried to destroy those persona fragments by striking when I saw the chance. You worthless vermin. I knew you weren't worth shit. But to think you were biding your time for this. Well. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, this isn't good. Things are going black. I don't even feel much pain anymore. I'm on the verge of passing out. She doesn't hesitate to give me another kick. They don't teach kids the meaning of the word moderation in school anymore. <laughs> At this rate, this this might he might actually really kill me. Piss me off, you piece of shit. But you are nothing but trash. I was only planning to use from the start. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly black after the intense blow, but I managed to hang in there. Maybe you got tired of hitting me. She gets up, picks up a sword, and looks down at me mockingly. <laughs> Just for curiosity's sake, how are you planning to use me? <laughs> I think you're misunderstanding me. You know the whole taming business? I wasn't planning to rely on your knowledge to begin with, moron. All I need is your persona. I was gonna rip off your persona. Turn it into a shadow, slam it into the gathered shadows, and presto! Adachi's part is done. I see. Okay, so this part, this is where I, I don't think they said this part when, which is interesting. I don't know why you didn't hear the, overhear this part. I don't, I don't think we heard it when we were playing as you. I was going to turn my persona to a shadow and fuse it with the shadows he was co collecting. I don't have a clue what he's talking about. As a lie, they're confused. Shul holds his stomach, holds his stomach and laughs merrily. <laughs> I love that stupid look on your face. It's so great. I'm gonna let you in on some more secrets. Seems like the power left in you interferes with the thing I'm planning to absorb. Oh. I guess that power beyond humanity clashes with each other. But when that happens, that thing won't be at its full strength. Oh, I see. Something about the, like, probably the same with you. Like, they're like, because they were the ones who originally got their power from Itsunami, right? So if you think about it the other way around, using your power stops that thing from doing whatever it wants, and then I get to tame it! So in order to control the power he was going for, he has to counter it with even more power, huh? I think I see a flaw in that reasoning. Given that we're talking about a power surpassing the realm of man here, launch might be Once going Once everything out the was ready and I cut up the rest of them, I was gonna kill you slow. Still, I at least gave you the chance to have some fun, you piece of shit. I was gonna let your crap slide until I showed you the end of the world you never got to achieve. Why not? Right? <laughs> Don't think we're the same, you little brat. What? What was that? You think the whole world hates you just because someone didn't treat you right. You're nothing but a little kid throwing a tantrum. You know, I seriously hate this world. Don't put me in the same shoes as a half-assed brat like you. Please. <laughs> You're so finished, you bastard. I'll kill you just like you want. You time! <laughs> sure. I'm lame. Those guys don't play around. You better be prepared. Die, you piece of shit. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Should've slowly unsheathed the sword and lays it across my throat. Such a cold stealing as my neck gives me goosebumps. Ah, oh, the situation's 
This issue has gone foobar. Foobar! If my own corpse... What? Foobar? If my own corpse ends up hanging from a telephone pole somewhere, it's going to make last year's case even more complicated. <laughs> They'll be like, man, what the fuck? Man, what's the Dodger doing up here? Little shit. <laughs> if that happen happens, all the work I've done will go down in the drain. Not to only will my rules be taken away from me, but if the investigation into last year's case gets dropped, there will be nothing left for me. That was the experience that defines who I am now. I can't allow it all to become a lie. I see. So that whole thing, he doesn't want that, he's like, I want people to remember the crazy shit I did, I guess. Katana gleams red in the moonlight when she raises it high in the air, and, and then... Stop it, show! You time. The impact I expect doesn't come. I'm slowly my see you can hold it show back. Ah, uh, you're early. Way to ruin the moment. He frowns, not understanding what's going on. He seems confused about show and I are at odds. It's not like I need him to sympathize with me. I don't need his pity, but I don't want him to be misunderstood either. Just to be clear, I didn't do it for you guys. I just wanted to set things right for myself. I know, you're not that type of person. Look at release spreads across Yukun's face. Seriously, kid, you're a, <laughs> Seriously, kid, you're a dope. <laughs> if, I die, if I die now, the investigation would, would have to start from scratch. Thinking about that happening pisses me off, that's You are all. such a know-it-all. It's not... Very attractive. Try to mock him, but after talking too much, talking too much, talking hurts too much, and thinks that show beating the crap out of me, everything's getting cloudy again. Doesn't switch on my own, so you're trying to stop him, team leader. Yeah, blah. Can't even say those words, but that's what I'm thinking. So that, then I lose consciousness and die. Dead. Ah, demon Lord! First thing I see when I come to you too is you can fighting a giant monster. The creature is made up of countless shadows, moving as a giant hole. It's wreathed in flames, tense enough to scorch the entire world. <laughs> that's what I call the oh, end of the world. Man. Going up against a monster like that's gonna be impossible. Even for you, Kun. Even for Johnny Young Bosch, too. <laughs> The situation looks bleak, but on a closer look, Yukin doesn't look like he's losing. In fact, he's possibly overflowing with energy, though it's beyond me where it's coming from. But the power of bonds. Could that be all about all the bonds and friends stuff is about? But either way, he's dealing with that power that surpasses the realm of man. He's injured it, but it's without a way to dealing a definitive end below the fight's Impossible. still Impossible! What power is this? How can one human's power alone be enough to best me? Kino Kagatsuchi, that's what holds you back. The power I wield, the power we wield, it will never succumb to someone like you! Silence, pest! I will not lose! I am stronger than anything! I am fucking awesome! <laughs> I got lava oozing out my arms! Monster lets out an immense roar and raises this humongous arm, aiming to destroy the ground you could standing on. Tyro isn't going to take much more abuse with all this shaking. Not even a person is going to survive a fall from here. Ah, uh, seriously, he's a pain in the butt. Persona. <laughs> Adachi time. Adachi baby time. <laughs> I really saw my persona, Magatsu Tsunagi, and attack the monster from behind while it's busy. Rend it, Magatsu Tsunagi. My persona's blade, covered in blackish red flame, strikes the monster's armor and knocks it away. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. What are you doing? I set everything up perfect for you, and you still didn't finish it off before I woke up. Still, this race, I'm telling you, I feel like the stamina to keep going. Monster might even make a comeback. But if I keep it distracted, there might be an opening to finish it off. Oh, fine. I'll play, I'll play I can't along with you. Little. take all the glory. Stay back and rest a while. You'll need to save your strength. Oh, fuck, I am. This is not, ha this is not how it happened. Before it just sort of ended, where it was like, they fused together and became a giant blade. Nope, now we're gonna have a dodgy fight him. Now you can be a space case sometimes, but looks like I can, you can even understand what I'm getting at. Not bad, kid. Allowing myself a small smirk as I look up at the giant body hanging down from the sky. The monster glares directly at me. It's murderous and tense, hey, piercing me like a... Hey, how's it going? Give According give to Shoku, the power left to yeah. doesn't sit well with you, huh? Huh? Imbecile. How dare you intrude and have the nerve to stand before me! Giant... Body, its massive arms and stern jaw flames speeding along the entire length of the damn is scary. You has got to be a great a moron trying to take this thing on. I don't think there's anything in the world I want to protect enough to face this thing. You know, being this deep in this shit is kind of exciting. Fine, I'll take a stand, not for anyone else. I stand for myself. 
trembling with the exhilaration building up my heart and the fear of what I'm about to do, but I can't hold back the sardonic gr grin as I sh uh, sardonic grin as I shout up at the space sky. You are. Come at me. I'll play with ya. N God dang it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Damn it, Adachi. Shut up, Adachi! Don't do it. Okay, you guys told me something about the last fight that was like pissed me off, but apparently like that little red bar that shows up here means I can't block it, so oh. Shut up! Okay, so like No no actually keep moving back. Should be able to block it. So close. But yeah, I think when he like charges up and he like it's a little red bar, it means he'll, he'll, his next attacks will be unblocked. Fucking sucks. It's like I, I feel like I'm just I have no I have no fucking Oh, there we go. So I have to keep Okay, so my square moves aren't hitting him, but for some reason my X moves hit him. Okay, because of fucking reasons. Why is that the case? I don't know, cause uh shit. Because fuck you, what? That's why. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm barely fucking alive after that. There! Fuck! Finally! Yeah, whatever. Okay, so apparently square hitting him with the square doesn't hurt him, but hitting him with X does. Because this is so stupid. I'm just sorry. It's just such a stupid boss fight. <laughs> Body, so I feel like I'm burning up. Just breathing hurts my worn-out throat. With the relentless blaze scorching me, I'm half expecting the collapse into a pile of ashes at any moment. I guess this is the best I can do with my powers. I was thinking maybe I could finish him off, but I'm just too exhausted. All I, that's all I can do is stand my own for two feet. Such from insignificant pests. Even more like my battle was for nothing. Though I was, I wounded the the monster wars as it, as it stiffens up. Dodge, son. From bare, fair bit away, you can just watch me with a look of surprise and bewilderment. It's not the same look he had last year when he confronted me in the TV. There's no hostility in his face, no caution in his eyes. I see nothing in his expression but concern for me. It's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, what fuck. are you spacing out for? I don't have time to waste either. So let's hurry up and put it into this. Right. Let's let's do this. By the power of Johnny Young Poshes. All right. Now is our chance to give you here in the sound. We answers with a nod. Power never felt before it begins boiling from the depths of my body. Two is and I one dark, one light resonate. Our power merges together to become one giant force inside the two of us. I take that strength, revel in it for just a moment, and we unleash it all. All at Hagino Kagashi. Nagatsu is a Nagi! <laughs> Only Johnny Young Bosch can truly wield the power of Itsunagi. <laughs> we, we're both getting the same power, but his evolved his evolved down a, a different path than mine had. I can tell it's only grown stronger since the last time I saw him, and while that power pulls at me, I feel it squeezing me dry. Torn of power becomes a giant sword that pierces around it. Hino Kaga Sushi and Fire Shed. Shed in the pieces. Time for a monster like you to head on home! <laughs> no! I was so close! My stupid bullshit almost got away with it! Okay, I don't want to see it again. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of that thing. Stay dead. It screams its death cry. The monster's body crumbles into bits. The flame cutting its body flares <laughs> up one last time. Serves you right. Now it's over. <laughs> For real this time. The that it kept me wounded so tightly, or wound up so tightly, reaches its breaking point and snaps. I can finally briefly see the floor rushing up towards me as I collapse to the ground, and then everything is black. Okay, so what happens? I mean, but it, apparently, Adachi disappears. Um, according to you, to you. So it's like. Where'd he go? When I come to him lying face face down in that part of the TV world where those old TVs are stacked around like blocks. 
I remember I got here after fighting that monster, but one thing's for sure, we annihilated that monster from the world, and there wasn't a single victim created by the entire incident. As long as that's a fact, I don't care about the rest. I feel my objective. Imagine you sit up and look around, Shadow's laying on his back on the floor, and Yukina's looking at me as if he wants to say something. Oh, well maybe maybe this is the true ending or something, you know? <sighs> Man, what a pain. Because he didn't... Because in the other ending, we didn't see Adachi at all, so... I had no intentions of seeing you guys ever again, you know? I finally figured out why you came here, Adachi-san. <laughs> Kid talks like he knows me. Don't go making a re relief face like that. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> We're just like, ignore him, walk over to show. I slap him on the cheek. <laughs> on the butt cheek. You took a pretty bad beating, too. <sighs> show opens his eyes slightly and groans in pain. Looks like he's awake, but doesn't have the energy to move. The Madison and Tess murderous intent are both, are both gone. All he does is breathe. And well, well, looking at him like, looks like that, he looks no different from your average kid. Remember when I was in the same condition as him? He reminds me of myself That's why I told you, that power can't be controlled. Is it... all over? I don't think it's all over yet. Those nosy kids pushed your reset button before it was too late. When I look over at Yukun, his eyes go round in surprise. Oh, come on, you didn't know it. No wonder he's enjoying his youth so much. He doesn't realize all the important things going on around him. Well, that's <laughs> fine with me. A kid should enjoy doing what he wants. Just don't drag me into it. But now's the only time you get to do that, you know? Once you go out into the real world, there's really nothing great about it. <laughs> you get a job, then you die alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just you and Dachi. <laughs> I know, somebody love me, please! <laughs> Shows like me, a man consumed by power, but he's still got plenty of chances to start over. I'm gonna find that out whether he likes it or not. Little bastard. Connections between people are also chains. They've brought, they've brought me nothing but trouble. So I understand why Show would want to push that crap as far away from him as self as possible. But the troublesome thing is that once you start making connections with other people, they start winding their way around you before you, you notice it. When you're getting, when you're, and when, even when you're suffering from weakness and pain, they just don't hold back. And depending on, and, but depending on how you handle it, you can create possibilities for you. In other words, whether you make use of these connections or let them go is all in other words, plus. you can't just run and hide in this world. It doesn't let you off the hook that easily. <sighs> well then, it's about time I head back. If your friends show up, they'll only start yapping about some annoying drivel again. Adachi son, you're going back, right? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Did you think I'd run away like in some Hollywood drama? No, that's not what I meant. I just want to do my time quietly. I really don't want to get wrapped up in something like this ever again. <laughs> don't call me in the sequel. <laughs> I spit that at him as I stick my head into one of the TV stacked here. So I'm about to show myself the rest of the way in. I Please hear a wait. Voice. Desperation in Kuhn's voice startles me. My heart skips a beat. I get up and pull myself back out. <laughs> what? What is it, Johnny Ambosh? Johnny Ambosh, I, I love you. I love you too, Johnny Ambosh. Been Car off guard like to surprise me, but like hell, I'm going to let him know that. I said to play don't things off. Don't yell like that. Could. You startled me. So. You still have business with me? Ojima-san said, I'll go see you once things have been settled. Uh, oh, give me a break! If uh -huh. Ojima-san shows up, I'll get yelled at even in lockup! Damn it, Adachi, why are you all bruised and bleeding? <laughs> can I see it in my mind and make a face? I make a face. Seeing that you can last that, that, that punk. <laughs> Maybe so. Adachi-san, good luck. <laughs> He's still like afraid of a Dojima. Call me back just to say that. Good luck. Like it's none of your business. Seriously, still the same annoying brat I knew from before. Motherfucker. I should have murdered everybody. <laughs> Dad's like, damn it, I really haven't learned anything. I'm gonna go on a murder rampage after this. A lot of the venom I can't muster in throwing that word to Yukun's way. I don't know what face what face he makes when he heard it. Before I stuck my head back in the TV saying my farewells to this world. Good. I'm going back to follow my follow my own path. This time I'm going to make sure I won't be seeing them again. So it goes my eyes that strangely pleasant feeling of familiar laziness. And finally, epilogue. I'm guessing that must have been for a, a peek from the true ending. All right, Adachi, let's finish this shit. I've had it, I've had it up here with your horse shit. <laughs> and back to the here, awesome, you're awesome. The prosecution's guy. been settled. It's been a few months since that P1 climax bullshit. Oh, all right. Prosecution's case finally rested in the middle of summer, and I was transferred to the detention center. Going to court means that there's the possibility that I'll get the maximum penalty under the law, but instead of worrying about that, I'm more relieved that all those troublesome days are finally over. My road until now seemed long and short at the same time. Last year, I lost at my own game. Having to put 
up at this shitty world one day, I was suddenly given a special power. That was when my game started. I had lousy human relationships, a boring job, and I was part of a corrupt society. If I could destroy it all, I could, I would, could remake the world the way I wanted. And I'll admit it, I enjoyed the game as if I was trying to fill my own empty heart. Even the pressure of the unknown creeping up on me gave me the ultimate thrill. But eventually I lost to the brass from the investigation team and was arrested as the serial killer who had terrorized Innova. Game over. Game over, man! After it was all over, the only things I had left were my experiences and my rules. All games have rules, of course, and once I was caught, I decided that I'd follow the rules of this reality to atone for my sins and confess, ev confess everything to the police. And yet, if some mysterious corpse who died of unknown causes was found hanging somewhere, they declared the case to be open again and started suspecting that the true killer was still on the loose. If that happened, it would mess up the rules I'd set for myself. I'm not going to stand for that, that's all. Because of that recent commotion, I was a by how I was mysteriously gravely injured while in custody, it means that my incarceration is going to be even longer. While they try to figure out what happened. Because these who keep coming back for psych evaluations are just tearing out their tearing their hair out, too. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what did you do? I could have just said it was that fucking cop guy who was beating the shit out of you earlier. <laughs> He's probably already lost his job. <laughs> You're telling them that I'm going to follow the rules of, of this world, so they should take things a little easier on me, right? Seriously, the people in charge of this are so hard-headed that it's pain in the again. ass. It doesn't change the fact that I'm bored. <laughs> I wonder if the way things were before would have been less dull. Throw myself onto a moldy smelling tata and be mad in my, in my cell and yell wildly. So I'm drifting off to escape of sleep. I hear footsteps hey, pushing in the hall. You have a visitor. What? Must be Dojima san. Well, my eyes and groan inwardly. So you can say the instant my indictment was completed, I got a letter from Jima san saying he'd be coming to see me. What timing? She was always waiting for me to move to the main detention center, and I feel like he's coming. Why would he want to see me after all this? He really is nosy. It's so awkward. I thought I had cunning attached between me and Jimmy's Jimmy's on the moment well, I was arrested. You gonna see him or not? This is why I hate him. Nah. <laughs> I stand up without a word to the guard. Freezing, freezing wouldn't do any good. I, of all people, know how persistent he can be. I squint the harsh light outside the door where Jimmy's son's waiting for me. Hey. Have you fattened up a bit since the last time I saw you? <laughs> <laughs> well, life in lockup is much easier than your grueling training. Did I really just hear you say that? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Aww. That's kind of cool. I I'm glad I we never got to see them talk to each other again after the whole incident, so... Jima sound last in my taunt. Can't stop myself from smiling either. I look down quietly so that he doesn't notice. I threw, out, I threw a connection away, but it came back. I cut it, but it wouldn't stay cut. Possibly people really are troublesome. Yeah, somewhere inside me, I can't help but feel a little relieved at the way things turned out. I guess having a bond like this isn't so bad. I think that to myself, but I accidentally murmured out loud, too. It sounds slipping away to be lost among the halls of the, the cicadas outside the window. Wow! I just, that was... Surprisingly, that was surprisingly good, and that was I was surprisingly uh, redeemed Adachi's character a lot, didn't it? My rules. Now the credits again. All right, that's enough of that. Interesting. Very interesting. That was. I'm glad I did that. I uh, definitely showed me a, it, it. It showed a lot more about Adachi's character than it did than we really got to see. I think. Um, and I'm. It's nice to see like he's actually grown some. It's like some just something I never expected would happen with with him, especially. You know, it's like I don't know. It's like Moshiriga coming in and being like, "No, I don't want to. I don't want to murder people and then take pictures of them and then beat off to them in my room." <laughs> in the safety of my room or something you know it's like it's like what who the fuck are you or Tagami coming in and be like I'm not a big I'm not a big dick and I and I'm not really stinking rich either anymore either I'm like what the fuck you're not Tagami who the fuck are these people god dang it all these fucking dicks I hate it are all redeeming themselves stupid assholes <laughs> oh man but yeah that was that was good good for you Adachi you little shit but yeah that was that was interesting. I'm glad. I'm glad they showed that. You know, I mean, like we had sort of suspected that he was helping us in the episode before, but it didn't really, like it's nice to sort of get clarification and see that he really was. And 
Also nice to see him and the Jijima talking at the end there. That was, that was nice. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I guess I'll get started on the P episode P3 um, uh, next time. But anyway, like for if you enjoyed. Subscribe now to become a Pinky Penguin aboard the SLP. The days are always sunny and the days are always funny. And it's next time, guys. Stay classy.